Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got some great news for you, which is that Warzone has finally released a ton of information about its new Pacific map, Caldera. We're going to be taking a deep look at the article on CallOfDuty.com by James Matone today, and I linked him down there below in the description. He has a ton of writing for not only CallOfDuty.com, but just in general. A friend of mine, you should check him out. So after a lot of teasing and secrecy and delays, they finally have revealed the entire Warzone Pacific map, and you can actually see it here, the entire map on the screen. We're going to be taking a deeper look at this, a lot of the screenshots, and some raw gameplay. But without any further ado, I want to show you the roughly one minute long trailer and gameplay preview they released before we jump into this article. Travelers, explorers, adventure seekers. With all travel bans to Caldera lifted, you may now book tickets to Caldera on Pacific Horizon Air. Caldera, a hidden paradise. Enjoy awe-inspiring landscapes. Visit sites from Caldera's storied past. Survey the land from above by climbing natural rock formations. Explore underground caves. Take a dip in a river or stream. Fuel up on the artisanal organic produce harvested locally. Caldera, the Emerald of the Pacific. Free flights starting December 9th. Pacific Horizon Air is not responsible for any death, parachute-related accidents, gas-related deaths or injury, anti-aircraft fire, tennis elbow, food poisoning, or any similar instances. Should Pacific Horizon Air become engaged in aerial combat, an early exit may be required. What are you waiting for? Book your trip today. All right, so first off, you can see the like logo art here. Welcome to paradise, <laughs> because it's all very tropical. Um, you can see there's a little teaser of the story about how all of the characters from Black Ops Cold War go into a bunker and they, they're trying to find Perseus once and for all and they find it all starts in the Pacific. So the story goes back there. You can immediately see from this first screenshot here that the map is going to be much brighter, much more colorful, much more saturated and really good looking, a lot like the remake they did on Rebirth Island and that's something that I'm personally very excited for. The game's going to launch on December 8th in order to play on December 8th, you are going to have to have played at least one game of Call of Duty Vanguard. It is for Call of Duty Vanguard owners early. Uh, 24 hours, as a matter of fact, we'll talk about that later. But the next thing they drop is this giant map overview, and I just want to I just want to take this up and take a closer look here. This is a very dense map. Like if you want to zoom in on this, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know if I can like drag this around. Yeah, you can see there's a this is an extreme density of map. This isn't like a sparsely populated forest World War II. This is a real one. Look at the cluster of buildings down here in section N, which is the capital. This is going to be like where all the pretty stuff is. Section J, we still have an airfield. What? And there's so much stuff going on here. B, I bet it's going to be docks, arsenal, runway ruins. Hold up. D is ruins. These are going to be ruins of something out here that looks super fun. What else do we have? Subpin. Where is subpin? So we're going to have submarines out here. I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm mostly just happy when I see this. Oh, a beachhead. That's going to be like uh, Normandy, like where the allies landed down here at the beachhead. So you have to fight your way up the beach and into there. Maybe there's mines at point E. Maybe we can go underground, a mountain, tons of stuff going on. The whole point of this is just that this is a full big map. It's not another rebirth island. This is a really dense, really serious map. And that's something I'm very happy about. Looking through the article, you can see that apparently there is a dormant volcano <laughs> in the map as well. Uh, I think this is going to be the sub pin, the military base. I initially thought this was stadium because I can see the uh, staggered steps here, but that's like a water level uh, raising and lowering dock. Looking very good so far, looking very colorful. At the industrial docks, we have this place that looks suspiciously like shipment. And they talk about the Ocean Freight Company. I think this is going to be a shipment without boundaries, which is going to be a very interesting map. And it also makes sense why the shipment that showed up in Call of Duty Vanguard had all this vertical climbing and stuff going on with it, because this shipment also is going to have a lot of vertical climbing design for Warzone. The runway or airfield or airstrip is looking a little bit more... Um, <laughs> uh, how do I say this? Uh, muted, a little bit more reserved. This isn't going to be like the new fancy like Russian airport. This is like a dirt airstrip designed for landing prop planes. But it does have an authentic World War II vibe for it. And thank God it's bright, except for the hangar where everybody's going to hang out with their super dark skin. Then it looks like we have the ruins here, which is the ruins of um, created in the 12th century. 
I would wager anything if there's going to be zombies on the map, if there's going to be a Halloween event, if there's going to be like some sort of crossover, all the spooky stuff is going to come on the, come out of the ruins. And once again, like everything else, we're looking really good on colors here. We have a slightly different um, color palette change when we go to the mines, the phosphate mines, not unlike the ones that we have, the salt mines in a uh, good old... Verdansk at the moment. Almost forgot the word, but you can see this one transitions to more of a dusty brown kind of environment, a lot like maybe Modern Warfare's color scheme. We have some colorful buildings that are supposed to be unique, but ultimately look very similar to buildings that we've seen before. I do know that a significant amount of the map has to be made with... Um, reused assets and we have some redacted in here stumble across a redacted with its own redacted and explore the outer reaches what I'm, I'm really hoping it's a secret underground tunnel or something peak up here at the top is very looking i know it's world war ii but it's looking very cold war style i'm kind of getting a feeling this might be like an early version of summit but it's at the very top of the mountain we have a very different color scheme again we have gray uh, not a lot of cover, not a lot of trees, kind of like the northwest area of Verdansk at the moment. And inside, it's looking very Black Opsy in there. This is probably going to be the highest part. It's uh, Axis Military Battery Installation. Okay. Uh, area can become a hot drop as the main gondola shuttles people from the peak to the runway, much like what we have now. Then you've got Beachhead, which I think is designed to look a little bit more like a tropical D-Day invasion or maybe like an American is like landing in Iwo Jima island hopping invasion. You can see that it's going to really stink to be down there on the beach and fight your way up where you can see the artillery that obviously we don't get to use. But we do have the bunkers and beachheads, which will be very difficult to get people out of if they want to camp in there. They look similar in shape and structure to the bunkers that we already have, except they probably have holes you can shoot out of. There's the river village, which gives oddly a very Vietnam kind of feel to it. I think it's because this is like Japanese rice farming. This is rural and they would have grown rice in a similar way to the Vietnamese would. But this is also just generally good looking and fun. Uh, if Even if we lose the World War II theme, this could totally work for like a Vietnam theme. Now we're looking at the water lagoon. This is one of the coolest looking screenshots I saw out of all of them. This to me looks like beautiful battle royale. You've got your water, you've got land, beach, multiple buildings, big tower to get up in here with the lighthouse, great color, great sunlight. Your enemies can't hide in dark areas. We have bridges and choke points and trees for cover, a lot of ways to push in and out. This just looks really, really fun uh, to, to uncover its secrets, including what remains of Captain Butcher's plane. Then we have the Caldera Terminal. I guess this is a different airport in the in the map here. Uh, this one's looking a little bit fancier. I think that these machines are probably anachronistic. This one's looking more like the Verdansk. And you can see, look at the radar tower. Look at the radar tower in the back. You can see that there are stairs that actually go up it. It's not like the one we have now with the, only the zip line going up and down. It looks like you actually do have the opportunity to push up into that tower, which is a huge change. Agricultural center. Looks like uh, an agricultural center. I'm not seeing anything super duper special here. This is the submarine pen. That's really cool. I imagine this is going to be a lot like the Vanguard multiplayer map with the sub bases where you kind of hop from ship to ship and push through. But the fun thing about this one is it also looks like you can play on top and below. Like this is like a three or four story combat area with the water being death kind of downhill too. So I am all on board with this one. The Caldera power plant looks a lot like the power plant in the Cold War version. What was it? Not big team. Cold War is like multi-team, their Firestorm mode. This looks nearly identical to some of the areas that I've seen in Firestorm mode. And honestly, even the top of this uh, area here with the little bunkers and hills looks very Firestorm-like to me. Capital City looks a little bit more like something out of the more recent Far Cry 6. I don't know exactly what island or thing that it's supposed to be, but this is going to be the beautiful area. And if I had to guess, this is probably going to be where the hot drops are. The capital seems like the place to put the highest level of loot. Yeah, look here at the resort. This is going to be close by. Absolutely beautiful looking. I don't know what it's going to be like to play on it, but it looks really, really good. Uh, now we're going to talk about we have the anti-cheat rolling out on day one. So we will finally have that. It'll be intrusive probably because it runs at kernel level, but at least we'll finally have anti-cheat. And then the next day, everybody else can join in. So on December 9th, I guess we'll really know if it's going to kick out all the cheaters. And what's coming down here? 40 weapons, 38 from Vanguard's launch, operators, calling cards, emblems. Uh, Vanguard Royale, experience all new combat with dogfighting. What? Dogfighting? Okay, I guess we're flying planes at each other, like, for reals. That'll be fun. Uh, and updated land vehicles. I can't wait to steal a plane in Battle Royale and dogfight. That sounds stupidly fun. I, I, 
I'm all on board for that. What else do we have? Um, bum, 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 bum. Circle collapses are altered. Focus on Vanguard weapons. New vehicles. Uh, oh, you can head for AA guns to shoot down the aircraft. Or trucks. There's AA guns or trucks that have guns. So you can shoot them. And you do, you do fly fighter planes, apparently, which sounds really fun to me. Rebirth Island's getting its own thing. It's getting its uh, 24 hours access. Uh, so what's going to happen is when the rest of us log in, our van the Vanguard-owning sophisticates log in and play early, nobody else can play main Warzone for 24 hours. They're all going to be stuck in Rebirth Island, so that's kind of funny to me. And they talk about finer points. There's all sorts of stuff to explore. There's this crashed ship out here. Looks like a much smaller, more rinky-dink version of the zombie ship. Tons of new stuff, new gulag. Oh, here's a huge one. Dead silence is being nerfed and stopping power rounds are gone. Those have been plaguing Warzone for a very long time. They're very unfair and I'm very glad that they're gone. Uh, we have shallow water. Um, so we're not going to be able to swim, but we can walk through shallow water, which is fantastic. Uh, Fire-based equipment now causes smoke when it hits water. That's awesome. That's really good as far as I'm concerned. Explosive canisters, gas masks aren't going to interrupt the way they make you un-ADS and cancel your parachute and stuff. Uh, there's a big game bounty mode. Okay. Top secret contract that's redacted. Let's see. Ricochet, anti-cheat. There's another really good screenshot of the map. Looking good here. Uh, Secrets of the Pacific. That's the... That looks like an alien almost. That's a person. And uh, yeah, just generally looking very good. Uh, that's kind of the entire article. We went through it. We hit the high notes, showed the gameplay, and talked about things. I'm personally very excited. Honestly, I think this is going to be a very good, fresh change for Warzone. If better lighting, if for nothing else. I'm, I'm really excited about the good lighting. Guys, that's all for this video. I know it was a little bit weirder, lazier, read an article, whatever. But, you know, news moves at the speed of, like, light, literally, through fiber optics on the internet. And me posting this two hours late, I'm already, like, a million years behind. So it was the fastest thing I could do. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.